Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mike. You are watching The Horror Toy Box. Thanks so much for tuning in again. Today I got another haul video for you guys. Like I said, I've been building up that collection, getting it back to where I want it to be, getting the pieces I love and miss the most, and along with some new stuff. NECA has been coming out with some awesome things. So has uh, Distinctive Dummies. i um, going to get right into this with the Blu-rays again, and then I'll move on to these figures. Uh, I'm going to start it off with this pieces blu-ray this is a super high quality blu-ray it comes with the with the uh, soundtrack and everything super thick case it's really nicely put together I watched this movie under recommendations of somebody a while back wasn't the craziest about it but giving it another chance and also building up that blu-ray collection regardless I tend to love movies a lot more nowadays so I'm going to give this another shot soon. Pieces. Next, The Exorcist Blu-ray. This is a classic movie. If you're here, I'm sure you know about it. I'm sure you've seen it. Iconic, iconic movie. Glad to have it in the collection. Next, this is one I just got today. I haven't been able to watch it yet. I hear mixed things. But I am definitely looking forward to it. 80s horror. I tend to always love Blood Diner. Nice little slipcover Blu ray. Blood Diner. Next, this is one that I love a Toby Hooper movie. Eaten Alive. One of uh, Robert England's early movies. Toby Hooper's early movies. Classic movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's, uh, this guy owns like a little hotel. Um, some weird town. Has a, a gator outside. And just starts randomly killing people and feeding them to the gator. But uh, definitely a cool one. It's neat to see Robert England out of that. Uh, Freddy Krueger makeup back in the day. Cool movie, I recommend it. If you know Toby Hooper, uh, he did uh, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, and The Fun House and other movies. So if you like those, you'll like that. It's got this similar feel. Here is uh, Return of the Living Dead Part 2. Um, a lot of 80s movies had sequels that I really love. And this is one I was definitely skeptical about, especially just seeing Tar Man. I was really skeptical about it, but I absolutely love this movie. It's a great sequel. Return of the Living Dead 2. They brought back the two main guys. Uh, can't think of their names right now. The uh, one guy that played Tommy Jarvis in, uh, how, or in Friday the 13th Part 6, and also the other guy that was real dramatic in the first Return of the Living Dead. Uh, Man, I can't remember his name right now. But anyhow, they are both back in this movie. It gives a similar feel. I mean, it's not the same, but it's definitely worth watching. And I really enjoy it. Here's the next one, Maniac Cop. This is uh, a movie that I really love. I know it gets some, some grief from some people, but... I um, really love this one. It's got uh, Bruce Campbell and Tom Atkins in it. I mean, right there alone says, says something about it. Really cool movie. Highly recommend you checking it out. Blood Rage, next one. This is not open yet because... I, uh, it's actually on YouTube. So I just watched it on there recently. So... I got around to open this cool old 80s slasher. Blood Rage. Check it out if you haven't. This one's a gem. Um, I'm sure most of you know about this if you're here. The Blob. Got an incredible uh, 80s like horror vibe to it. It's a perfect, iconic movie. The Blob. Highly, highly recommend this one. Check it out if you haven't. Awesome. Awesome old movie. 
Next, from 1975, Trilogy of Terror. It's three little um, short movies, like anthology style. Karen Black, which I spoke about in my last video, with the distinctive dummy, the, with the Zuni um, creature. Really cool to have this. I also haven't opened it because it is also on YouTube as well. Nice slip cover movie. Highly recommend you checking this out, especially that third story with the Zuni. The Zuni fetish creature. Uh, this movie was definitely a little bit disappointing to me. I was not feeling it. I had high expectations for it. I absolutely loved the first one, but this one just didn't have the overall same feel. This is. Night of the Demons too. Not the worst, but I, I don't think I'd put it in again. And that's it for the Blu-rays. Gonna get into these figures. I will start off with these recent pop figures. You'll never see these in my videos because I don't really collect them, but I uh, got the whole um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space set. For a great price, I couldn't resist it. These are actually super cool. Um, they seem in there with the balloon. This one's spiky. On to the next one, Jumbo. He's got the uh, the hammer behind his back, and he's doing the little call to the girl. Very cool. That's uh, definitely one of the darker scenes in the movie. And uh, I always like this clown, so super cool to have that. These are cheap right now, um, all except for the exclusive. You should get them while you can. Here is Shorty, everyone's favorite. Really cool, he's got his little boxing gloves on. These are just nice looking little pops, you know. They're kind of cartoony and not meant to look real anyhow, so I kind of don't mind these pop figures. I don't collect a lot of pops, you know, you guys know that if you're here. And then finally, there is the 2019 Fall Convention exclusive. This one is slim. Got him in a protective case because he's the valuable one out of the bunch. It's actually the first one they came out with, too. Really cool, though. I like these. This set, little four sets, awesome. Uh, there ain't many pop figures I'll collect. <laughs> these are the only ones. And I have a signed one from Steven Moyer from True Blood as well, but next, let me show you this, this is one I had already, but I recently got it back, the They Live Alien 2 pack, the TV, it's wrapped in plastic, I got it from Big Bad Toy Store, and they like sell graded, or they sell collector's versions, this is one of the ones that's supposed to be in better condition. But yeah, very cool to have this. I'm really looking forward to the Frank and the and the John Nada uh, figures that they got coming out very soon. Let's continue on. So NECA, these are a little older, but I love them. I absolutely love the, the end scene of this movie. It just has like an eerie feeling to it. I always love the end scene. And these three figures I'm about to show you are all related to that final sequence of the end of the movie very cool Prometheus the trilobite and this is the battle damage engineer two pack very cool Toys R Us exclusive uh, highly recommend this one for whatever reason it's going cheaper than a lot of the Prometheus figures and I don't understand it says Toys R Us exclusive and it's just awesome it's, it looks really good and it's got a uh, a really cool scene going from the end of the movie when the Charlotte Bite and the Engineer fight. Next, this is the Deacon. With the, also with the severed head that they uh, may come alive for a second before it pops. And a little, little snake alien creature things. Um, this is a super cool piece. Definitely nostalgic to me. I love having it back. It's certainly got expensive, but. I don't know, it's just one that I had to have back. These three pieces from the end sequence, I just love. I miss them. So, here we are with the last one. 
Shaw with David's head and the axe whenever she has to defend herself from the uh, engineer and uh, David's head whenever he's talking to her trying to warn her that he's out for her, the engineer's out for her. Really cool. Really cool to have all three of these. If you haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend it. It's like a prequel to Alien that Deke and I showed you as, you know, said to be the first Alien. Uh, it's, uh, her, her man gets infected, uh, gets her pregnant. She births the trilobite, like, in a very short-term pregnancy, and the trilobite lays an egg into the engineer, and then out comes the Deacon Alien. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, on to the next thing. Get into here. I'll get into these guys. Uh, this is Mock Times Shorty. This is uh, also one that's become rare and expensive. Uh, really nicely put together, these figures are. I love them. I, for some reason, I anticipate them redoing these and re releasing them, but for now, they're expensive. Very cool. Also, here's the tiny. It's like pretty much the same figure with the hands in the box and gloves are switched out. Uh, the paint chains are different. Same packaging. Very cool to have these though. They're they're awesome. I love that movie. There's not much around for it. These are you know getting rare, getting getting pricier. So I'm happy to have them. Especially the shorty. Shorty's a good one. Um, next is a piece that I beat around the bush with for so long. I always wanted it. I'm not like insanely in love with this movie, but the uh, first release of Sam from NECA. It's like, it looks like a cult classic, but it doesn't say cult classic on there anywhere. Very cool. Little extra accessories in the cardboard back on. The blister back on. But, uh... You know me, I'm not into the ultimate box style figures. I'm starting to really open up about the uh, the other box figures, but the ultimate ones with the flap, I'm just not crazy about those. I love my blister packs and the window boxes, you know, without the flap and retro cloths and all. These are these are great, man. I, lo I love the way it looks. They display nicely. It's a very cool piece. I put it off forever. Finally got it. Next, got an, a Mezco. This is uh, from Jason the Final Chapter, Jason Part 4. That is definitely one of my top three favorite Jason movies. Probably place it in part sec uh, second place. Really cool figure. If you know me, you know I love cinema fear and older Mezco. Very cool to have this. Love this. Um, the rest of these are distinctive dummies. First we have McCready. Get that to focus there. There we go. McCready from the thing. Really cool. Love it. He has this little flamethrower in there. I'm not gonna take it out and show you, but a little back black flamethrower in there. Really cool box artwork. I love these The Sing of Dummies boxes. I don't know why I didn't like them before, but this is number 16 out of only 70 produced. Really cool to have this back. Absolutely love the thing. It's one of the few movies I'll give it 10 to. Very good. Very good work. That one also came with this guy here. Didn't see that well. Little card in there that says distinctive dummies and has the spider head on it. Uh, yeah, very cool to have that. I love that addition. Norse Norse's head pops off and out comes the spider legs. Really cool iconic scene. Absolutely love that. Uh, this one is a really cool piece. I put off getting for a while. This is the Leprechaun. From Distinctive Dummies, but this is the second release that was uh, like a little small release. 
that is uh, only 20 of these with this outfit on. This is number 5 out of 20. Very cool piece. Love having it. I ordered a little custom case for this guy. Can't wait to put it in there. I ordered one for the McCready too. I think it'll look nice, a little acrylic case. Keep it mint because this one's surely going to be a valuable one. Uh, you know, there's not much. Um, there's not much for this movie out there, Leprechaun. Only that little, little bendy figure that was like a promotional thing or something. Uh, whenever the movie came out, that's the only licensed thing that ever came out. So, really cool to have that. Another distinctive dummy I got back. The Burning Cropsy. Love this movie. Really good looking piece. It's got his shears in there. I think I want to get that whole set back on the, on the back here. A Big Ben from House. Uh, her. Harry Warden from uh, My Bloody Valentine. Um, let's see from again. Uh, I can't remember his name. <laughs> I'll put it in the bottom here or something. Um, yeah, and then Cropsy. Really cool. Love having that back. Awesome set. Now these last two are probably the rarest distinct dummies that I have, period. I'm really glad to have them. I recently picked them up. This is, uh, first we'll start off with Blackula. Very cool. This one's uh, probably the one I got inquired about the most. Uh, when we sold a lot of distinct dummies, people would ask if we had this very often. Even though it's an old release. It's super cool. Really love having it. Number 21 out of 50. This is an extremely rare one. I've seen it come up for sale like once or twice. This one I got from just asking somebody if they had it and they happen to have it and we're willing to sell it. Just the right timing. But yeah, Blackula. Classic movie. Check it out if you haven't. It's uh, also free on YouTube, the movie. On, uh, yeah, highly recommend you check it out. Good 70s vampire movie. Now this is uh, one that I've really been hunting, hunting to get back in the collection. The uh, Maniac Cop. Really pumped to have this back. Got this in auction for much cheaper than I was willing to pay, so. That worked out for me. Very cool, this is number 37 out of 50. Absolutely love this piece. It completes the uh, Fright Classics line my favorite distinct dummies line despite that i'm not too crazy about the candy man this has always always been my favorite for but yeah very cool to have this man this is super rare it's in extremely good condition mint love having this back and this one is uh it's in better shape than the first one i had so it's even better glad to have it maniac cup and that's it for this whole video. Really appreciate everybody for being here. Thanks for hanging in, you know, over the downtime, over the 1-6 period. I'm not done with 1-6. I'm just putting it on pause. You know, I respect that hobby, and I love what they got. It's uh, some really nice figures over there. So 1-6, uh, just putting it on pause. Anyhow, thanks again. I can't tell you how grateful I am, everybody watching. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Instagram at the horror toy box and also don't forget to check out the funhouse emporium i'll leave those links in the description uh, like comment subscribe and share this video please thank you guys have a good one peace